Hello. Oh, hey, Montan. What's up? You want me to do a showcase on who? You mean the Demon Soldier, right? No? You actually mean the hero. You're introducing it to the global server. That's a summon shard event. Oh, so you're not adding it to the general pool then? Oh, you are adding it to the general pool. Well, that is interesting to note. All right, I'll do my best. Ma is coming to the global server. Hello again, everybody. Sebastian here with another Watch Over Realms video. In this one, I'm taking on the task to showcase Ma, this nightmare fighter that is being introduced to the global server as a summon shard event. He will eventually be added to the pool as well, so we'll get a chance to summon him alongside with all the other legendaries in the game. Part of this short case, though, what I decided to do is ask the Forerunners uh, players to give me a quote. Just give me a quote on Ma as to what they think about this hero that is coming to you, to your account soon. Okay, so first one. Thank you, Cub. He's absolutely broken, but not in a good way. Comment two. Ma, the absolute worst end to any summoning session. And I will agree with Reaver on this. There is nothing worse than seeing this guy on your 210 pool. Three. Ray Panessa is one of the best accounts and forerunners. A5, Ma still does not come alive. My buddy Arturos, co-host of Wars Going On. Swap his kit with Gluttony and call it good. That should tell you folks where he ranks among uh, the legendaries. And then finally, Titus. You'll always, always wish he could just do Ma. From those quotes, you can kind of get a general idea as to how Forerunners players feel about this hero, and especially how he is being introduced in his current form in the global server. I believe that maybe the developers think that he has a place in the game, but right now is really limited. Now, there's always that warning that something could be coming down the pipeline where he might actually be useful, but as it is, as it stands right now, there is no amount of gear that makes this hero great. And if you have seen showcases of him, you know, sustaining AMR 18 or anything like that, it is because of the gear. It's probably T3 T, uh, T3 gear or a very good glacier set that is doing it. But I wouldn't count him for, for progression. He just falls apart too easily. Uh, you cannot depend on him for anything right now in the game. It is essentially a hero that you're going to play around with if you feel like it and put him in a situation just to see how well he can handle it, essentially what it is. His basic attack is only the one tile extension, so he doesn't even have a dual extension. He cannot be protected by a, a defender. And you really have to, in contrary to how his kit reads which is attack base you do really have to tank him up to make sure that he can take a couple of hits while his rage is building and unless you invest the a the level five skill crystal here on him his rage region just takes too long to build up just to get that one hit and most of the time, you're just not going to have a single unit, a single demon coming at you. You're going to have multiple coming at you. And I know that right now I'm blocking it. But one, he only has one block. So if you want to even give him a chance to hold up another unit, you have to put him in the visor. Just to, number one, give him some HP or a way to heal. But then to make sure that nothing gets past him. So even if you put him down, you are going to have to make sure that you protect the, his back in case he hasn't taken that second unit down and nothing goes through him. That's another uh, thing about him here. 25% chance to add bleed, more than Salas are sure, but really the rest of his kit does not really complement the reason to bring this into the equation. 
Also, his rage just takes too long to build as well. If I look here at the hero details again, I'm going to take myself off screen here. 10 bait on rage region on his basic attack and only five if he's getting attacked. So there's no question that his ultimate is not going to build up very uh, fast unless you surround him with support heroes that will boost that rage so he can get to um, his impalement a little bit quicker. He's bloody shub. 15% chance unless you skill it to 20%. And even that at 2x strength, it is not strong enough to even help you in gear dungeon 2. And you also don't want RNG on this. You want something like Yerith, right? Yerith, you know she's going to back up that Banshee twice. Here, you're hoping that it procs. And if he does it, he does not have the strength to truly knock that Banshee out to not damage you. So this part here is not going to help you in that regard either. Killing the targets increases hero damage by 5% and max HP by 5% permanently. Okay, it's just, it takes too long. It takes too long to get there. So the only thing that they have done Really, before they added him to the global server, if this passive right here, this is the buff. It increases the deployment limit of Demon Captain Ma by one. So for those of you that are, you know, like GBG or have not had, this is the captain that we're talking about. You're supposed to get 50K uh, in, in Drake's Chasm in Nightmare 4 to get him. Unless you're just collecting shards over time and you haven't hit 50K. But this is it. This is it. You match them up with the hero, you get one more deployment. You get four in total. That was the buff that he got in here in the game before he was introduced into the global server. Everything else was kept the same. Now, you're probably asking, maybe he is good even at A5. No, not really. You saw from the quote from Ray, even this A5 here, that uh, he guarantees a crit hit, some targets inflicted with bleed. The fact that he's impelling, he gets rage right back immediately. Um, if he does his impelling, he has a cooldown. He has a cooldown. That does not help him. He still only has the one block. He made that the best that he could do is two, maybe. So he can't handle things just coming at him. There are very few units that he can impale. If you're dealing with anything that is an elite, he won't do it. It's just basic attacks. He's not strong enough to take that unless you build HP on him. His HP base is too low. His attack, or excuse, yeah, his HP, yeah. So 30,000 is decent, but if you're going to build him like an uh, attack damage dealer, you this is just too low. So this is why Arcturus made that comment. One of the things about the Zero that would improve him is if he got a buff similar to what Gluttony did. He became HP base. He was he can now take a little bit more of a hit, and then his ultimate actually triggers base on that. He can sustain the battle a little bit more. This is exactly the type of things that this hero needs. His rage regeneration, he it should come in faster. This should be lower, to be honest, if we want to make him, make him a little bit more competent. This strength, this knockback, whatever this is, they're, they're calling it, knocking units back, this needs to be made stronger. I really think that maybe to even make him, give him one more tile extension for that regard, just so he is a little bit competent in this regard. As of right now, as it stands, this is global server. I'm telling you, this is the worst legendary in the game. As of right now, there's really no way to play him. Now, I'm going to do him some justice, the best that I can. I am one that tries to find utility for every hero in the game. I try to find some good for it. This is why I think I was one of the defenders of Edith early on with her knockback, because I just had a feeling that there was something that she was going to be great at. And same with all the other heroes. I'm thinking, okay, it's possible that they're, going, they're giving us the content 
or that we can use them in some content is every hero has utility at least i have tried to find it with this one i have struggled and might be me but this is one hero that i just could not find a place and i even got him in unfortunately i got him in my account early enough where but he did not really help me with progression at all the best he could do for me is get me points on uh, a corridor for glory for that's it just level him up put throw some promotions again uh promotions on him and give me some points it that's essentially what he came down to so you know you probably, um, I have not seen other content creators, especially from the global server, that have actually toyed around with him. They have actually might have taken him and, you know, put him in a good, um, you know, IR set and gone to AMR 18 and looked to see if he held down against the boss. And I can tell you that he can do that, but you need the gear for it. That's essentially what it comes down to. Is progressing players are not going to have that. And then by the time that you have the gear, you're probably going to have a lot better legendaries than this guy. And you're never going to use it. Unless Montan decides to throw some type of content where he is going to be mandatory. But as of right now, no. There is really nothing. Now, let me show you a clip of at least some gameplay where he could... Be used. So here I am in the Forerunners account. There's no, there's really no reason for me to go into the test server and try him out because I know what he can do. So if I am to ever use him in any regard, this is exactly how I, I build him. I try to balance out his HP and his attack, give him some crit rate, some attack speed, and maybe some critical damage in there. And if I have glacier pieces that have some rage regeneration, as I'm gonna show you here, you know, like 22.5%, uh, then I, I use them, the total attribute. So 91,000 HP, this is what I was saying. He would benefit more if he was an HP based hero. Um, some, some speed, and then, um, you know, some rage regeneration. So this is the Lassier stage. So we're here in the Lassier phase. This is one of the stages that we have to complete to eventually get to the end. And I thought this would be one spot where I can possibly kind of show you what he can do. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm going to put him in front and just have these units come down and start engaging him. Now, as you can see, here's the problem that I have with him. He needs time to build this rage region. Now, he's on skill. I understand that. If you skill him all the way to the level 5, then that first one will become available to you a little bit quicker. But, given what already I have already shown you, I would, again, unless you're a Kraken, I would not invest the skill crystals on him. So then you also have to make sure that he can take some hits. And as other units start coming and rushing towards him, so in this stage here, we have the opportunity that we have an extended period of time before the next units come down. So we can just, we only need that one block. So you saw there, finally, his rage build, he impaled, he took the unit out. So here again, now we're waiting for him to regain his rage. So let me fast forward this a little bit just to get to the next set. Now, here's the thing. Now, here's two units coming at us. And if he did not have the visor, the uh, the second unit would have gone right through him, gone right for Jira. That's the only thing that is stopping that second unit. So right now, he's trying to take on two. And we're waiting for his ultimate to build up so he can impale one of them. But even after impelling one of them, he'll still have one to contend with if his basic has not done enough damage. So there, he was able to take both of them out. All right. He, um, he would get into trouble with other units. And there are many facets of this game where you're not dealing with some type of elite or a boss. So... 
it's just little things like this that maybe he could help you with but just the fact that you need so much hp to make sure that he stays alive and then you have to manage the attack and then maybe add crit rate so his basic attack comes into play all these little things make it hard to be used as a progression hero and that's why i think that initially you cannot use him in that regard for progression at all it's really hard to find a spot for him and the only times that you're really going to use them are in end type end game type gear and you can then give him a support cast like this so he doesn't have too much trouble taking other units down so that's kind of one clip that i can give you as to how you can possibly use him if you wanted to so in conclusion really this video is mostly i took the opportunity to highlight what his deficiencies are and how he can be improved and i highlighted some of those attributes where i, I think like arturos uh, said on his quote if you make him like gluttony and then maybe add something else on top of it he could become a better hero than what he currently is in his current form so for those of you that are going to get him for the shard summon event if you are debating i would just say get him especially if you're a gbg player and you just want this passive and this bond to get activated and then then you can use the demon shoulder for gbg at least four times and then you have that flexibility with that demon captain in that regard but that is really the only recommendation that I can give you right now as to why you should take the time to uh, do all the events and get as many of these uh, shards as you can to get them and then add him to your account. That's essentially it. It's this passive right here until the developers decide to change him a little bit more. Uh, he needs a major, major buff. So that's my review of the Zero. Like I said, I always try to find something good in every legendary in this game. Ma is just not one of them. And like I said, even if I were to have a, have a need to play this hero, it has to be endgame type gear. It's not going to be a progression hero at all. Uh, not in this current form. And it is really disappointing that he is coming to global in this format uh we were hoping uh, at least forerunners were hoping for some kind of modification uh major buff before he uh was moved over to the global and he's also going to be now part of the summoning uh pool so folks there is an, here's another one that is just going to feel bad as uh, summoning aspen but at least aspen there are some things that you can make him uh, good at. <laughs> this one? No. It's really hard. So let me know in the comment section below what you really, um, from what you've seen, what do you think about the hero? Is this a good or bad for the game to introduce somebody like this? Do you see any type of content in the future where his impalement is going to become key? I don't know. Let's chat about it. But... For my time playing the game and being in Forerunners, he has been the torn of everybody, especially when we're summoning. We do not want to see him. It's one of the biggest disappointments after a summoning session. Thank you all very much for tuning in and watching. I will see you all next time on the next Watch of Realms video. And please do remember to hit like and subscribe on your way out.